Alrighty, here with Mike from Railway City Brewing. Um, how did you get into the industry? A lot of luck. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of the industry? The creativity. Least favorite part? Uh, the creativity. <laughs> favorite style of beer? I'd have to go with a darker style. Um, probably right now I'd say uh, more leaning towards a porter. Um, but as the seasons go, uh, there's a lot of choice out there. So to pick one style is really tough. Um, least favorite style? Americanized Pilsners. Uh, okay, now this one I've had to twist people's arms. Three styles of beer, well, three types of beer that you get to drink for the rest of your life. One from your brewery, one from another craft, and then one from a big guy. Our Iron Spike Amber, Wellington County's Iron Duke, and oh, one of the big guys. Mm, just North American big guys, or it doesn't matter. Anybody? Yeah. Um, probably have to go with the Guinness. That seems to be the number one so far. Um, as a brewer, what's the strangest thing you've ever used to brew with? Coconut. Coconut. It's a lot better than the uh, oyster juice I was told last oh. time. Uh, <laughs> um, malt head. Oh, sorry. Hop head or malt maniac? Hop. And lastly, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? I, you know what, I don't even want to think of what I would be doing. This is, this is perfect for me. Alrighty, well, thank you Mike for your time. Pleasure coming back, Chad. Alrighty, have a good day. Good day, we're here with Tom, one of the brewers here at the Railway City Brewing Company in St. Thomas, Ontario. How did you get into the industry? I've been home brewing for years. Uh, I bought my equipment from here. I was starting a brewery. I needed a part-time job. I'm in heaven. <laughs> um, your favorite part of the industry? Uh, the brewing and the QC. And the least favorite part of the industry? None really. Uh, favorite style of beer? Uh, our dead elephant. Uh, least favorite style of beer? I don't want to mention names but there's a brewery close to here. Uh, I think I can guess what brewery that is. Um, as a brewer, what is the weirdest ingredient you've used to brew with? Um, hmm. Well, we have had a few apples and, uh, you know, oh, the ginseng. I guess the ginseng would be that. I've only had one ginseng beer. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you only have three beers you can drink for the rest of your life. One from here, which I'm pretty sure I'm knowing what you're going to answer. <laughs> one from another craft brewery and one from a big guy anywhere in the world, what would they be? Uh, easy, our dead elephant, uh, Grand River, Plowman's Ale, or the curmudgeon, sorry, and Samuel Adams. All right. Hophead or Malt Maniac? Hop. And if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Um, driving a school bus. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you for your time, Tom. <laughs> Wes from the Railway City Brewing Company here in St. Thomas, Ontario. Retail and events and smiles. 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 LCBO sales. <laughs> See, smiles are free, just like at McDonald's. Uh, how did you get into the industry? Uh, I recently got into it. I uh, just started up with a company at the end of May. Uh, I actually worked three and a half years up in the wine industry into, in Niagara on the Lake. Uh, so definitely uh, local drink, food and drink is where it's at for me. So uh, natural step, I was born and raised here in St. Thomas and looking for something that I could work locally and continue with my passions personally, drink. And so beer, microbreweries, next natural step for me. Alrighty, next, what's your favorite part of the industry? Favorite part of the industry has to be the special events portion of what I do. Um, I was just up in Sarnia this uh, past weekend working events. It's great to go out there, see people that say St. Thomas, Railway City, great to see. We love your dead elephant ale or whatever the case or we or other side of the coin you know we've never heard of you uh, what do you guys do what's your story and you know it's nice a lot of people are getting uh, on board with local products and and understanding where the products are coming from and understanding that uh, they want a beer with a little bit more flavor so it's really nice to get out there see what the public has to say about us to see how we're perceived and it's great to see that already um, least favorite part of the industry 
Least favorite part of the industry, uh, I also take care of all our beer inventories. So definitely there's long days there where I'm sitting staring at the computer, but uh, that's important. Uh, as with anything, our sales of uh, really nice, light, crisp beers are going to be way up in the summer. We're going to have to make sure we're brewing enough of those. That being said, uh, recently our best-selling beer, I would say, is our, our Amber Ale, our Red Ale, because it's seasonal, it's cooler, so we've got to keep an eye on that. So there's always good, there's always bad, and it's, it's a business, and that's part of it as well. Alrighty, favorite style of beer? Personally, favorite style of beer, I will say first, I come to the brewery at least five times a week, so it's always changing. Right now, the, the bigger, the better, the darker, the better. Right now, I'm really digging a lot of the stouts that I've been finding. Uh, just pretty much anything big, seasonal, that's what I'm liking right now. Uh, that being said, talk to me in the summer, and uh, I'll be talking about totally different beers. Alrighty, least favorite style? Least favorite style, uh, blondes. I don't really like them. I find they have a bitterness to them that, that's just not for me. Um, now you can get, obviously there's good stuff in styles, there's bad stuff in styles, but I would say that that style just doesn't do anything for me, period. Alrighty, Hophead, Malt Maniac. Hophead. You have three beers you can drink for the rest of your life. One from here, one from another craft, and one from a big guy. What will they be? Sure. Start with big guy, Corona. Uh, I was born to live on a beach, so I'm always going to be... As I always say that to people, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with understanding that I'm going to drink 12 of them and it's going to be really, really, really hot and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, my favorite thing from here right now, uh, I already said I'm a hophead, so I'm going to have to say it's the Dead Elf and Ale. Uh, if I can go further, the Double Dead that we always make, our double IPA that comes off in September is always my favorite. But uh, as far as regular products, Dead Elf and Ale. As far as products out there in the market, I'll have to, I'll have to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with uh, something from Mill Street. Uh, if anything, that was my first experience. I can remember visiting my friend at Ryerson when I was 19 and young in the world of beer and uh, going out to the brew pub and really just enjoying everything. I have to put it down for the stock ale. I'm really a big fan of that. That's what got me really into beers that taste like beers with a little bit of taste, something that's real, something microbrewed. So I'll have to go with that one. All righty. And if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? If I weren't doing this, what would I be doing? Uh, probably be in China right now trying to sell wine. That's probably, that was my other, op other option. It was either beer or wine, and uh, I went with the beer. I went with something a little bit more fun. I went with something that I find uh, a lot of people are interested. A lot of people want to hear the story of beer right now, and it uh, shows whether it's just customers I'm going to run into, whether it's LCBOs I'm talking about, everybody's really supportive of it. So it's, it's something that you really feel like you're a part of something good right now. Alrighty, well thank you for your time, Wes. No problem, thank you. Have a good much. one. Good day. We're here with Matt from the Railway City Brewing Company here in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. How did you get into the industry? Um, basically, the common joke is I was the guy that kept coming in, so they hired me. That's... <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had that joke said about me before, too. Um, what's your favorite style of beer? Um, probably I'm a, I'm a stout guy. I like stouts. I've done this with many, many people, and there's only been three that have said that, and I'm very happy to hear it. Um, least favorite style? Probably the lighter lagers, Pilsner. I like body and substance. That's Hophead or Malt Maniac? Depends. Used to be a Hophead. Probably back into a Malt Maniac now. I think the hops have kind of been overdone here lately, so getting in some malts. Um, if you, you have three beers you can drink for the rest of your life, one from your brewery, one from another small, and then one from one of the big guys, what will they be? From us, it'd have to be probably Dead Elephant, and a smaller brewery, probably Boston Lager from Sam Adams, if that's still considered a smaller brewery, and round it off with, oh goodness, can Guinness be considered a big brewery? Uh, then there we go. Diageo controls them now. Oh, that's, that's pretty big. That's um, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Probably sitting in my office at home designing websites. And this, I wasn't going to ask, but you know, how, how is it to be a, a multifaceted man here? You know, a delivery driver, bottling line, all that fun stuff. It doesn't get boring, that's for sure. <laughs> There's always something to do, which is the old saying, I guess, there's always something to do in a brewery. It's very true. All righty, Matt. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yes. Mike, what do we have here? We have a mild with a twist of honey in it. Um, styled, you know, a uh, mild kind of a brown style. And when will this be available? It will be filtered uh, November 21st and ready for sale um, November 24th.
And this is a one-off, so it's a come into the brewery style, correct? You betcha. Alrighty. Oh, that looks beautiful. Nice chestnut brown. The hint of honey on the top. Oh yeah. The hops are coming out on it as well. We used a local source of honey. We used a local source of honey in this. Um, supplied through our friends over at Clovermead in Elmer. And uh, we're about a week in now and it's fantastic already. And I hear you use a lot of local malt and hops, whatever you can find locally. As best as we can. Um, in this brew, we're actually using uh, a local, a locally sourced Cascade hop uh, grown out by uh, Vienna, which is just along the border of Elgin County and Norfolk County. And I know with your uh, Hoptoberfest, you were using local apples? Local apples, as well as local hops grown uh, through one of our commercial accounts and as well as our local member of par Parliament in Steve Peters. So. If you all really want to buy local, this is one of the few breweries that I've been to that actually tries to get as much as they can from around them. So this is the way to go if you want local. And that smells amazing. Uh, what, what should your ABV be on at the finish? Um, we're looking at about a 3% alcohol. Um, IBUs will come in around, uh, I think it was 12.6 on the IBUs. And um, everything's, everything's hitting specs as far as we go right now. Well, it looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a nice, easy drinking beer. And really, everybody should come in and get some of this one off just so you can try it. Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, oh. Oh, and it's not even finished yet. Oh. The honey, the malt, the hops, there there tastes like there's a nice bit of chocolatiness in there. A little bit. Some coffee. That's a beautiful mild. Not so much coffee, but uh there is there is some chocolate malt as uh It's just it it feels like the chocolate malt mixed with the hops to give like a coffee bitterness at the finish. Yeah, I'm really happy with the uh how everything's mixed together. Yeah, it's, it, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>